Hi guys, Coach Lockie here. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick, simple tip to try and help you maximize your driver distance. The other day on Twitter, I posted, what loft do you have on your driver? And I got all of these responses. Thank you to everyone who replies and gets involved on my other social medias. If you're not following me, go check them out. And then I thought, look at all the different lofts that people are producing there. And are you all maximizing your potential? So my driver here, I've got the Callaway Rogue ST Max in nine degrees, set down one degree to eight. So let me hit a few shots and then I'm going to change the head and whack a really high lofted club in my hands and show you what the difference is. In the comments down below, what do you think is going to be the biggest difference in numbers? Is the spin going to be really high? Is the club head speed going to be different? What do you think? In the comments down below, let me know what you think. So I'll start with my eight degree driver, collect some numbers, change to the 12 degree head. So four degrees difference in loft and let's see what the difference is. Are you leaving potentially a lot of yards out on the table? So that was my own personal driver, all fit for me. Let's try the 12 degree loft. 12 degree head put in my shaft. I do have the Max D though, as I don't have a Max head in the 12 degrees loft. So if anything, the face might be a tiny bit more closed on this one, but let's see what the differences are. Looking down at the club, I can see a lot more loft on it and a lot more of the face of the club, but I'm gonna try and swing exactly the same. So my paths, my face to paths, my angle of attacks, my speeds, I'm gonna try and keep all identical or as close to as possible as I can. Let's see what difference this loft makes to the ball. Come on, in the comments down below if you haven't already, while I'm hitting a few more shots, what do you think the biggest variable is gonna be and the biggest difference? And while you're down there, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying all the videos and content. YouTube likes it, and I certainly do. Right, let's have a look at the numbers. Let's see what the difference is. Are you potentially leaving a lot of yards out there if you're not fitting your driver and getting the correct loft for your angles of attack, strike location, face to paths, and things like that? Right, let's start with our club data then. And I've tried to swing these as close and as similar as possible. So club head speed here, 116.3 with my eight degree, 15.8 with my 12 degree, standard deviations overlapping. So that's as close as I can pretty much get it. Dynamic lie, 7.5 and 7.4. So that's how the club sits, which is exactly the same. Um, face is pretty much straight with the um, 12 degree on average, but a bigger variance on my standard deviation compared to my face with the eight degree, which is sitting a slightly more open on average. Path pretty much the same, angle of attack both three up. Dynamic loft, four degrees difference in the static loft of these clubs, eight degree and 12. Dynamic loft, 15 degrees with my eight, I'm delivering 19.3 with the 12 degrees, 4.3 degrees on average higher, standard deviation varying more with uh, compared to my fitted club as well. And I think that's because I'm just fighting seeing that loft on there. I don't wanna see it on there. And I know that it's not gonna optimize my distance. So maybe playing a bit of a part in that. Let's have a look at the ball data. Ball speeds, 168.8 with my eight degree driver. 163.1 with the 12 degrees. Over five miles an hour difference and the standard deviations not even overlapping. So that is a massive difference. Launch angle of 12 with my eight degree going up with the 12 degree to 13.2 and look at this spin. 2,450 with my eight degree, 3,667 standard deviations, not overlapping, 1,200 revs difference. And look at what that does to my distance. Uh, 295 with my eight degree. I'm losing over 30 yards by having the incorrect loft. 30 yards, people. So quick, simple tip, not even to do with your swing, your equipment that you're hitting that golf ball with, 
make sure that you're getting the right loft for your delivery. And what I mean by that is that people are swinging differently in to out, out to in, speeds are different, quick players, slower players, how you're hitting up or down. All these will change what sort of loft you might need to be hitting with your driver, especially the swing speed one. Your, if your swing speed is low uh, compared to a high player, but you deliver exactly the same other numbers, you're gonna need more loft to get your launch up and more spin as well to keep that ball in the air to get your optimum distance. So if you're not sure what loft you need, I might try and put something up here um, on the screen that might help you understand what launches and spin rates you need for your kind of speed. So if you know your speed, try and hit these sorts of numbers and you'll get the most out of your driver. I hope that helps you understand just one simple part of why you might be leaving yards on the table. Um, I'm definitely going to be putting my Rogue ST Max eight degree back on my shaft 30 yards people let me know what you think in the comments down below see you all in the next video